It's a first for the channel. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing our first craft cider. This is Angioletti, and this is a craft cider coming in at 6.8%, and it's available from Sainsbury's. But what's it all about? Keep on watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Cider Review. Yeah, we might, maybe we need to change the name or something. But I uh, just thought that I would do a couple of cider reviews because the weather is absolutely roasting at the moment. Um, and I, I don't know if anyone caught the live stream or caught the catch up of that. Um, we were having a discussion with some of the other beer YouTubers that were on that uh, stream um, about cider. And I sort of said, well, I don't really know much about cider. I know the sort of traditional sort of stuff that you get, like you you know, your Scrumpy and your Thatchers and, and obviously Strongbow, those sort of commercial, but craft cider is such a thing exists. I'm sure it does exist. And obviously, and they said, check out, there's an Italian, someone mentioned an Italian uh, cider, which I presume must be this one, because this is Angeletti. It says craft Italian cider, 6.8%. Reserva, um, and it's in this quite stylish bottle. I think you know, there's something about Italian beers, they always make them in style of beer and cider. They, make, they like these nice sort of bottles. This is it's made from 100% Italian apple juice, no concentrate, suitable for vegetarians and vegans. And that's about it 6.8%, so quite high. And as I said, it's a lovely bottle. And I think you know, I don't know about you guys, but in the summertime. Cider is the drink, really. It's the sort of real cutting refreshment. But obviously there's a lot of, you know, like there is with beer, you know, when I talk about your Fosters and Carling, you know, you guys don't really want to be drinking that sort of stuff or, or really hearing about it. So it's the same with ciders. I'm going to start reviewing things like, you know, Strongbos and, and, and those sort of much more commercial mass produced beer, uh, ciders. But We'd give this one a try. I've got another one, which is an Imperial Cider. That'll be coming soon as well. Um, and that's that's quite a strong one. But certainly in a glass, it's very, very light. It looks pretty... Uh, it's pretty clear. It's very, very sparkly. Look at that. Look at the carbonation on there. I mean, you expect that with cider. You know, you don't, you don't really get any head at all with cider. That head's disappeared straight away. But look at the bubbles in there. I mean, it's like it's like watching one of those snowy scenes, isn't it? Those sort of snow glow things. Lots of bubbles, very light and fairly clear. Now, I, I, I've probably thought that if it's a premium cider that you would be getting much more of the sort of more like cloudy sort of cider. That's 6.8%. Usually the higher the, the alcohol content, the lower the carbonation and the more sort of cloudy it is like a sort of scrumpy. But this looks pretty carbonated. Check that out. Okay, so let's get some aromas. Well, surprisingly enough, it smells a lot like apples. I mean, I'm not going to do scoring for the ciders because I think, you know, it's um, it's like, can you can you score them if I don't drink enough of them? It's difficult to benchmark benchmark them. But this certainly smells really, really apple-y. Um, smells like a cider, but there's a, there's something in there. There's a, it does smell like a premium product. So let's taste it, shall we? Cheers, everyone. Yeah, really. It's got that sort of almost like it's it's got although it's apple cider, it's almost got like a sort of pear aftertaste like the like so it's almost like a hybrid of an apple and pear. There's not, there is no pears in it, but obviously there's lots of different types of apples and a lot of those sort of I mean I, don't know, I couldn't think off the top of what Italian apple is, but a lot of the ciders that you will see certainly um, in the supermarkets will be made with English apples and they're usually made sort of down in the West Country in that sort of area, uh, certainly in the southern part of the UK. This, the, it tastes a bit different than the normal ciders that I can, I can remember. There's a real sort of, again, it's trying to get my palate into sort of remembering what cider's about. There's a sort of different sort of taste in there it's almost like a sort of a slightly more creamier sort of taste is that would you say that i mean yeah there's a real sort of 
I suppose it's almost you you do sort of get that sort of bit more pulpiness of it of, 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 of the apple you know the actual sort of solid bit of apple and it does taste very much like like real I mean it sounds like a silly thing to say but real apples because a lot of ciders can taste very artificial in terms of they're an apple flavor you know they're like apple juice but the, how much actual apples go into making it is 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 you know is under debate really but there's something about this that just tastes a little bit different tastes premium yeah it's almost like it's got a bit of a bit of a slight chardonnay sort of flavor to it as well you know there's there's something a little bit different there's there's a bit more than just your sort of apple juice sort of taste and it is really pleasant 6.8 i mean that's the thing with a lot of ciders I mean, and that's why reputation wise, I know, you know, you guys out there may be the same, but you know, when you start drinking as a younger age, you usually start drinking cider because it's, you don't really get the alcohol flavor. You just, it just tastes like apple juice, but slightly different. And this is no different really. It's very smooth. Um, there's none of that sort of prickly bitterness that you can sometimes get with, with cider, that really sort of over tartness as well. It's, it's a much smoother sort of cider, which you'd expect. I mean, you just look at the, you know, you look at the, the label on there and let's check that label out. I mean, that's, you know, you look at that and you think we've got a silvery label, a nice font. It looks, and it's in this sort of posh sort of bottle. It looks like a premium, premium, um, product. And, and that's what it is. I mean, I would say this was over expensive. I think it was two pounds. I should have really sort of, did I, actually, I may have even kept the receipts. I thought it, I'd have got kept the receipts. I can tell you exactly how much it was. Yeah, two, it was, I was absolutely spot on. Two pounds, this was. Two pounds, it's a 500 mil bottle. So it's a good size. It's nothing for two quid. Size, obviously, even in a premium craft cider, that is pretty cheap. If you think what a premium craft beer is, you don't really get them for that sort of price. So two quid for that. Tastes pretty good. Actually, I can tell you what that other flavour is. It's almost like toffee apple. That's what it's like. But it's not, this is not a toffee. I mean, you can go, you can get toffee apple cider, but this is not a toffee apple cider. But there's that sort of sweet sort of different taste in it that's almost like toffee caramel almost like that and it sort of reminds you of a toffee apple or hence obviously the fact that there's also lots of apples in this and that's the flavor you're getting but it does taste really smooth so if you're into ciders give this one a try if you have if you try it already let me know what you think in the comments but if you maybe you're thinking yeah i want to drink i like to drink a few ciders in the summer but don't know which ones to go for i've just picked this one up because someone said there's an italian cider that's good saw it today and thought yeah let's just crack it open it's a it's not as hot as it has been but it's still pretty warm and this is a real refreshing summer drink so angeletti premium craft cider First for the channel, but you know, say we've got another side. The other side that's coming up is a, a Imperial cider. Um, I think it's quite, it's like 8% or something like that. So it's quite high in the alcohol, but we'll, we'll, that will be coming on in the next couple of days. But this is a really good product. And if you like cider, give it a go. So hope you've enjoyed that. I said not scoring these, you know, in the traditional way, because that's more for the craft beer. Um, but but I think I wanted just to do something a bit different um, and give you an idea of the fact that, you know, yeah, if you want cider, this is 6.8%, two quid from Sainsbury's. For that sort of price, that alcohol, I think it's great value for money. So give it a try. And until the next one, keep on rocking.